It looks so much like the perfect start of another van life adventure. A lovely sunny autumn day where the only sound we hear is the crunching of leaves beneath our feet. The wind blowing through the trees with the backdrop of the breathtakingly beautiful Isonso River. That's the river Soka. Here we are at our first park up and it's in Italy and it's day seven. Yes, we would have started this adventure several days ago, but we were beset with many problems. Oh, finally. Finally, we are off. We had a flat tire the other day, but managed to change it with the spare tire I have in the van. How we are so looking forward to starting this trip. Let's not worry, let's just take our time. There is a problem with the van. The traction control keeps on flashing and the van is driving strangely. We had to go to a mechanic. What actually happened was the mechanic told us that the spare tire we had put on was too big and that caused the traction control to start flashing and the, and the van drive in a weird way. So we had to buy actually two new tires in the end. A real pain, but there you go, we needed it. But in the meantime, we didn't feel like going home. The trip has been postponed four times and whether we like it or not, we had to postpone it a fifth time. Glad there's a park for night not far from the mechanic. This spot is quite magical. The fridge is full, the bed is cosy and we decided to start our adventure right here while we await our appointment with the mechanic. The next day, Friday, we woke up early to see the mechanic. Okay, bye Charlie. Okay, so there, there's a problem with the tracking control system. We had a flat tyre last night and uh, just when we were about to leave I had to change the tyre for the spare. And after that it's been driving strange, losing power and the tracking control flashing light comes on. It's possible that it's the sensor on the wheel I changed has got damaged or dirty and it makes it very difficult to drive because it thinks the wheel is uh, it's doing something it isn't and it applies, it's basically a computer control system which I hate. So I'm taking it to the garage now to see if they can have a look at it. I think I said tracking control system, I meant traction, traction control system, as in ABS, the braking system, traction control system is one of the features that Mercedes has. He says the tyre I used to replace it was kaput and also was too big. That was the old tyre that came with the van when I bought it two years ago. I never realised that the replacement tyre was useless until now. So he will order a new pair of tyres and he asked us to come back on Monday. Too mentally exhausted to stay another night at the park up area and considering it's Friday we decided to go home where we could spend the weekend going for walks, eat and watch Netflix in front of a warm fire. So on Monday we arrived early at the mechanics. But you need good tyres when you're travelling a long way. It's pretty clear. Now with a perfect set of new tyres we went back home to do our final packing. So we're finally going. Finally going when coming this off. So much time wasted. So much ridiculous stuff we don't need. We finally left that afternoon, crossed the border to Croatia and headed towards the coast. So we're in Euroland now. So Beautiful sunset as we drove along the Croatian motorway. We stopped at a motorway stop for our park up for the night. We got up early the next day to start our drive. The heavens opened. Wow, did it rain. The sky was dark grey the whole time. This is not good. We were wondering when it would ever stop. Our itinerary was to drive along the coast of Croatia towards Dubrovnik and maybe head towards Montenegro, then Albania. Our supposedly first stop 
is Rijeka along this way, but the rain just keeps on falling and the grey skies are relentless. So we stopped and discussed our options. We're actually trying to come up to a decision if we will go through with our plan to go down towards Dobrovnik or take the route going towards Italy. The 10 day weather forecast for the Adriatic coast going all the way down to Dubrovnik is not good. So we'll just spend all our time sat in the van looking at the rain. So we decide maybe to go back towards Italy and go towards Venice. Wasted a bit of time in diesel, but maybe better to do that than suffer just sitting in the van in the rain all the time. The whole idea is to follow the sun. From Croatia going to Italy, we needed to drive through Slovenia, and we are now crossing the border to Slovenia. Got your passport back, yeah? yeah? Okay, so we got stopped again, as expected. Every time a police car see our van, they want to stop us, even though I'm driving within the speed limit, doing everything correct. They went to open. So for the third time we got stopped by the police. Border police. The park up in Turiaco on the bank of the Isonzo River is idyllic, shaded by trees and perfect for walking Charlie. It's just at the edge of the town of Turiaco and not far from the Slovenian border. We arrived just at the perfect time when the golden colours of autumn are at their peak. We needed to buy some fruits, so we drove to the town, did some quick exploring, found some fruits, then proceeded to the hamlet of Strasoldo, one of the most beautiful villages in Italy. So good to be on the road again, in some sunshine. The rain stopped as soon as we crossed the border to Italy and it's been sunny all the way along. We made the right decision to choose Italy as our winter destination. It's still a bit chilly at night, glad we have the heater but we only turn it on for 10 minutes as the van, which I insulated so well, warms up quite quickly. So here we are in the San Donna di Piave. The river Piave is right next to us. We parked up in a beautiful point, a spot by a park. And uh, we were a bit wary last night because there was a guy loitering around the van and sort of kept walking around smoking and thought it might not be a good spot. But we were tired and we decided to stay anyway. He's, he went later on and everything was fine. Peaceful night and uh, woke up to a beautiful sunset. Lovely walk in the park with Charlie and uh, this lovely view of the River Piave. So, a good spot to spend the night. Okay, so I'm just trying to use this useless Psygic program, uh, which I paid for. It's very cheap, but it's not particularly good and uh, it didn't even pick the location up uh, for the system GPS. So, I've tried it another way with a custom thing and uh, just messing around with the settings to try and get it to work properly. We're off to Ferrara now to try and get, fill up with water. It's about 140 kilometers from here, from uh, San Dona de Piave. Um, we'll see how that goes, stop off on the way, and uh, it's a beautiful day, lovely sunshine. It was actually broken, but uh, because we have a pair of pliers, we managed to do it. Our next stop was Ferrara, 
We actually stayed here for two nights as it was so pleasant. The Christmas market was going on and there was so much to see. Also, it's a very historic town. What are you looking at, Charlie? Pizza from Carrara. So despite all these challenges of van life, it's actually great. You come to realize how little you need to live on this earth, the freedom to live simply. We can actually live off grid. We have our own supply and we're self-sufficient. Like we have the solar, the battery to provide the power we need to charge our fridge, our phones, our computers, even a small oven. There are also places where you can get water for free. You can camp for free and camp where the sea or mountains or beautiful sights are at your doorstep. Also the continuous discoveries of this beautiful world we live in, making new friends with people who share the same interests and ideals. Yes, we find so much joy in van life. The struggles are always there. We just have to deal with them as they come along. Just knock them down one by one. You don't let them get you down. That's van life. Grazie mille. Oh, cazzo.